Good morning, lads. We made it to Friday. I'm Moose Santos. And I'm Daniel Robinson, and this is your KWHS News. Thanks for tuning in today. Let's head to the cafeteria to find out what Miss Betsy has on the lunch menu today. Happy Friday, everybody. Today we're having baked chicken with mashed potatoes and gravy. I know you love it. Come on down. And there's a switch to the um, menu next week. We're going to have the chicken quesadilla on Monday. And on Halloween, we'll have the cheeseburger. So hope to see you then. Have a great day. Bye. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Students, please clear out your lunch charges by adding money to your account. And remember to bring your purple free and reduced lunch forms to Miss Betsy so she can process those. If you haven't already purchased a yearbook, they are only $55 in the business office for a few more weeks. Prices will go up in December, so order yours now and save yourself some money. Glad. College application deadlines are getting closer and many colleges are visiting us. Here's the lineup. CU Denver is still on the books for Tuesday, October 31st to close out the month of October. And the New York Film Academy kicks off November visits on Wednesday, November 1st, while Luther College will be here on Thursday, November 2nd. For those of you interested in the Tony and Guy Hairdressing Academy, they will be here on November 8th and will be setting up a braid bar. Stop by to pick up information on the school and get your hair done too. And currently, November November visits will wrap up with Adams State on Thursday, November 16th. Seniors, if you didn't get the financial aid or Herf Jones information on Wednesday night, stop by the counseling office to pick it up or check out the counseling center webpage. And as always, swing by the counseling center to pick up your hall passes for college visits. When we come back, we'll have Halloween news for you. But first, here's Hannah Hall with our Gladiator Sports Update. It's Friday, Glads. I'm Hannah Hall with your Gladiator Sports Update. The forensics team traveled to Pueblo West High School yesterday for their Congress meet. The team scored well, and now some team members will compete in the novice tournament tomorrow at St. Mary's High School. Good luck to the forensics team. The WHS marching band is traveling to the state quarterfinals this afternoon. This weekend marks the end of a successful season full of growth for the band. They will take the field at 4.30 at the Air Force Academy Falcon Stadium. Tickets are $12 for students. Best of luck to all the members of the marching band and color guard. Tonight's the night. Gladiator football returns to CA Foster Stadium against the Pine Creek Eagles. Glads, with few other factors, the outcome of this game could decide whether our team moves on to postseason play, so a win is really important. Our Glads will be working hard for you tonight to become league champs. And check this out, if you can't make it to the game, you can still catch all the action on the football field on your mobile device. Go to this link to stream Friday night's game live. A 30-day pass is only $9.95. Our Lady Glads volleyball team mauled the Marauders last night and now get ready to bump, set, and spike their way to the top at the Pueblo East Tournament on Saturday. The tournament starts at 8 a.m. Go support your Gladiator Volleyball. Ladies, basketball camp starts on Monday, October 30th and goes until Thursday, November 2nd. If you haven't already done so, please see Mr. Washington in room 115 for more information. Gentlemen interested in playing basketball, Coach Munoz will be having an informational meeting next week on Wednesday, November 1st at lunch or after school in room 207. If you want to try out for the basketball team, you should attend one of these meetings. Winter sports athletes, listen up. Yellow cards and physical forms are now available in the main office. If you already have a physical on file, stop by to pick up your yellow card. Winter sports practices will start on November 10th. Finally, since it's Friday, it's time to hear Doc's health tip of the week. Hey guys, it's Doc with your health tip of the week. This week we're going to talk about avoiding the flu. I know, the flu is everywhere right now, but you want to make sure that you're not at risk for getting it. So the first thing you can do is stay healthy. Make sure you're eating and drinking what you need in the right amount and the right nutrition to keep your body healthy and strong. Next, you want to make sure that if you're around someone that seems to be sick, you are washing your hands and you are staying a little bit further away from them. So keeping your distance from anyone that could be contagious is important. Lastly, if you're not feeling very well, make sure you go see the nurse. We don't want to spread germs between one another. We can reduce these germs by washing our hands and keeping good hygiene. But when we do get sick, we need to make sure that we're taking care of ourselves and isolating ourselves away from our peers. So wash your hands, eat healthy, stay away from people that are sick, and make sure you take care of yourself.
Thanks, Doc. Those are some great ways to avoid the flu. Next Friday, Doc will talk about eating vegetables. Good luck to all our sports teams this week. That's it for your sports update. Have a great Friday. I'm Hannah Hall. Now back to you, Moose and Daniel. Thanks, Hannah. Gladiator Pop Suckers are going fast. They're only $10. See Miss HK in the library to get yours. If you'd like something different to show your gladiator spirit, check out the new school store in the cafeteria. DECA and FBLA is selling gladiator gear before school on Mondays and Fridays and after school on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. You can check out the inventory in the attendance or business offices. Student Union is open in the library every afternoon from 3 to 4.15. You do need to have a sticker on your ID like this one to stay and play or to work on homework. The Power Club will be meeting today at lunch in room 130 with Ms. Sardinia. And the Guitar Club meets in room 2 after school with Mr. White. If you want to store your guitar until the end of the day, see Mr. White. A quick reminder for students and teachers, marching band and color guard students will be out before 5th hour today to travel to Falcon Stadium for their competition. Good luck. As promised, here is the Halloween news before we go. You still have time to enter the Scary Book Contest in the library this month. Every book you check out earns you an entry for prizes. Don't be scared, check out a book today. It's a bit early and scary to talk about final exams, but they are just around the corner. If you would like some help with studying for, for finals, raising your grade before the semester ends, or just some good old tutoring, NHS is here to help. NHS students offer tutoring sessions every Thursday during advisory. Sign up in the library on Thursday mornings, and remember the library will only be available on Thursdays for computer use and tutoring. And finally, <laughs> uh, Halloween uh, is uh, just around the corner. Uh, we can wear costumes to school on Tuesday. Here are a few simple guidelines. Please do not wear full facial makeup or mask. Costumes should follow dress code rules, and a costume does not excuse you from participating in classes like PE or shop. The rules are simple, so get your costume ready to go. We are looking forward to seeing all your costumes on Tuesday. Well, that's all for us today. Have a great Friday. I'm Moose Santos. And I'm Daniel Robinson, and this was your KWHS News. Have a safe weekend.